What is the meaning of this? Where is my name tag? What is the meaning of this? I demand to know the perpetrator. You will all pay. You will all pay. Brad got elected to IFC, he's been taking a whole lot of office hours. And nobody really knows why. He doesn't do very much. I think that he might be stalking Jamie. I hate it when people say that I'm obsessed because I'm not. I'm in love. There's a difference. Like once, I heard Amy say that she likes ham and turkey and ketchup footlongs from Subway, so now every Friday at exactly noon, I leave a ham and turkey and ketchup footlong at her door. It's anonymous, of course. More romantic that way. If that isn't love, I don't know what love is. Why would someone want to take extra office hours? Well, here in the HLC, we try to make sure that everything is friendly as possible. You know, it happens here, so can I blame someone for wanting to hang around here more? No. Ah! Oh my god. So today is my birthday! Amazing! Last year, everyone in the office got together and got me a cake and threw me a surprise party, but I'm not expecting anything this year. I'm just gonna go to work and just kind of see what happens. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, Miss Lisa? Oh, hey, Jamie. Hey, guys, what's going on? Just going over some safety stuff. Cool. What's up with you? Nothing. Oh, hey, Jamie. What did you say to her? What? Jamie is upset. You had something to do with it, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. What did you do? Nothing. She was acting kind of funny, though. Well, oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. I'll be damned if you're going to be the one to sweep Jamie off her feet here, hero. Good day to you both. Brad is beyond any shadow of a doubt the creepiest person I've ever met. I mean, wow. Come in. Hey, Jamie, you're looking a little down. What's up? Oh, nothing. Can I ask you something? Anything, Jamie. Has anyone talked about, like, a party or, like, a cake or, a pre or anything like you that? You mean, like, something illegal? No, 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 nothing like that. Like, like a birthday, like, you know, presents or cake or anything like that? I think I know where you're going with this. What, what are you doing? Nothing. Never mind. I'll, I'll let you know if I hear anything, though. Thanks, Brad. Birthdays. Okay. <gasps> we forgot Amy's birthday. Jamie, your car's being towed. What? Outside. They wouldn't listen. I wasn't even... I was parked on a side lot. I know. They, it, it was just ridiculous. You should probably get a ride. They're going to be gone by now. I can actually give you a ride. No, you can't. We need you here. No, it's fine. It's just... Uh, wait, I'm, I'm on my way out. I can give you a ride. Oh my God. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so much. Thank you. You should hurry. Who knows what they do to cars down at the impound. Okay. That should keep them gone for long enough. What? Oh, Brad, please tell me you did not just get James' car. Done. False. Of course I did. 
I can't believe it. Yeah. I can. Eugene towing and bookbinding has been in my family for generations. My great-great-grandfather, Albus Green, was a master bookbinder with a reverence for parking laws. I towed Amy's car. I would have set it on fire if it meant providing her with the party she deserves. Are you high? What were you thinking? You didn't mess with any of our cars, did you? No! Everybody just calm down. It was a necessary sacrifice to get Jamie to leave the office. It's her birthday. We forgot it. We need to throw her a surprise party and have it completely set up before she gets back. So you towed Jamie's car to throw her a birthday party? Yes. Annie! Ah! True or false? You were in this office last year. True. Okay. What did you do for Amy's birthday? I don't know. We made, it, we made her a cake or something. Great! You're on it. I want it ten times the size this year. I'm going to lunch. He's on PCP if he thinks I'm actually going to make a 10-foot cake for him to jump out of. Like some creepy, stalkerish stripper. Ugh. Alright, decorations. We need this whole place to be sparkling of Jamie birthday beauty. Barbara! Can you use your female powers to show me the essence of true beauty? Sure thing. Okay, guys, this is going to be amazing. I want Jamie to be moved to tears. That's the spirit. Okay, now, you guys are going to be in charge of food. Order it and deliver it back here, okay? You're going to be paying us for this? Do you want Amy to have the best day of her life or not? Okay. Now I'll be in charge of entertainment. I have from Jamie once that she loves clowns. Jamie hates clowns. She's terrible. Quiet, you. There will be clowns. There will be decorations. There will be food. There will be blood. <sighs> All right, now let's hurry. There's only so many lies that the impound can tell her before they give her a car back. So Brad wants me to show him the essence of true beauty. I seriously hope he doesn't get a clown. Jamie's terrified of clowns. This could be interesting. No, now you listen here, swine. I am not just asking for a clown for a party today. I'm demanding it. Now I'm going to give you to the count of three, and if you do not comply, I will be forced to destroy you. One. Two. There were no clowns available on such short notice in the entire state of Oregon. Doesn't matter though, the Joker is like the king of clowns. Jamie will love it. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Todd. I'm Jamie's boyfriend. I'm here to pick her up for a little surprise birthday dinner. Boyfriend?